Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us as we go over the highlights for the challenge week for Indiana Genealogical Society. The WikiTree Challenge is WikiTree's largest ongoing community event where volunteers work on growing the connections for the seven ancestors provided by our guest for seven days. Now for your highlights. Okay, we are now live. Welcome to our last 2023 um, Facebook Live event. And um, just a little homework. Want to remind everybody that this is going to be recorded. You will be able to find it on Facebook. And you will also be able to find it on our YouTube channel. So be sure to go over there to subscribe. I'll put the link in the um, comments in just a moment. Um, we're very excited. We've been, some of us have been waiting a long time for this. We wanted to find out. WikiTree had a challenge and they asked for some of our challenges. And we had some people submit ancestors that they needed a little help with. And WikiTree is excited to be here, we have, <laughs> I swear I'm going to mispronounce it, Asia with us, and she's been with WikiTree since April 2018, and she's recently became a team member last month. So we are very excited. She's going to show the results, and then um, after, we'll stick around, and she will tell us a little bit about WikiTree and how you can get involved, and if you're like Kay and you have a 2024 goal of being on it more, you'll want to hear this. So um, I don't think we have anything else. If you have any comments, please just post it in the comments and we will try to get to them. If we go over a little bit, we might have to hold off on the comments and we will answer them later. So we are going to go ahead and we're off on WikiTree. All right. Well, thank you so much, John Marie. We are really excited to present our uh, the work that was done by all the volunteers that took part in this week-long challenge. So uh, just thought I'd start out first. This is the space page uh, where you can find all the information that was done for your week. Um, but it starts out here at the top with the starting profiles and you can kind of get an idea of what, what, the, what work was done. And we have a section here which we'll be going over, tell us what you found. And so you can see here all the different states in the United States that we went to, and then all the different countries that the challenge took us to for the week. So um, part of the um, slideshow will also share some interesting finds, but of course there are more on the space page. So definitely take some time and check out the space page because it has a lot of a lot of great information is um, has been shared here. Um, there's also a section on all the different military profiles that were added, and you can read more about all the different service uh, that was done by different ancestors. And there was there is a one place study that is associated with one of the profiles. Um, also, we'll talk more about that later too. So I just want to go over back up here to the starting ancestor profiles that you provided to us. And I wanted to walk you through a WikiTree profile, and then I'll take you through each of the profiles. So James Henry Hughes here is the first one. Right on across the top, we have a summary of uh, his name and his lifespan. And you can see here, uh, this little circle here is showing 17 degrees. That's how far away he is from me. He's 17 degrees away from me. So that's what that number is up there showing you. And so then we have uh, more information about him, categories that are uh, applicable for his life. And then on the right here, we have all his family relationships. And then this biography is where um, the profile is got basically the fle fleshing out all of those facts that were researched and, and found, those sources that were found. This is where it's all written up into the story of this ancestor's life. So you can 
see there's also a section on research notes. Um, we use this section to um, collaborate with other members on things that maybe didn't make sense or maybe there's a little conflation going on just to kind of uh, make sure that we're getting all the facts straight for this ancestor. So that's a way to do that. And then there's the sources section down at the bottom. <clears throat> so you can see lots of information available for this first profile. And if there were any DNA connections, they'd be showing up here on the right-hand side in this section. So <clears throat> once a profile is connected to the main tree on Wikitree, then um, the DNA connections will uh, start appearing if there are any, um, there are within a close relationship to them. And then they have also have taken a test. <laughs> so if there are images, there's the image tab. And then we have a tab up here at the top for the tree apps. The tree apps is where you can view this ancestor's uh, family tree. Let me go ahead and go to the fan chart real quick. Um, with, there's a lot of different views um, and this gives you those different uh, views that you can check out all the different ways you can look at the, look at the information, all the, all the data that's available for this person. So a lot to explore like we were talking before we got started, there is a lot to Wikitree. There's a lot you can do with it. So um, definitely check out some of those um, options for viewing the family tree or the, uh, yeah, the family tree. There's also maps that you can look at. So that are in relation to this ancestor and his family. So that is James Henry Hughes. The next ancestor that was provided was Jacob Pickens, and this is his profile. So we have a whole huge section here about the uh, uh, this ancestor in the in the research notes section. So um, we really utilize that uh, to work through any issues or questions that arise in the research. All right, it's 15 degrees for me. <laughs> it's, it's interesting throughout the week, once they're connected to the main tree to watch how close, you know, sometimes they grow closer to you. And then sometimes you'll come on here and they'll, you'll see at the top that they're actually a relation to you. So that's really fun. William H. Stouffer is the next one. And uh, looks like we have all the siblings and children. And again, some more research notes. So just really actually wonderful way for you know, utilizing the profile, collaborating about the ancestors is to have those good research notes. And David Armstrong was next. Another good bit of information available there. Not a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Jesse Jasper Nickerson is next. Looks like almost all of these profiles will have research notes. So that's actually great. I love research notes. <laughs> And uh, the next one that we'll go is Stith Thompson. So this is what I was talking about. Now you can see he's a relation of mine, sixth cousin, five times removed. <laughs> so that's um, really great to see. And you can see here, he's a notable connection. This is another kind of section on uh, profiles that will appear if they're notable. And then you can see here, he has 4,848 connections within seven degrees of him. 
So if you click into that, you'll, you can see um, what it breaks down to into the different degrees. So he, of course he does it deg degree zero, and then it tells you what the, where those, who those people are at the different degrees out from him. It's some really great information that's available. And of course, a lot of different categories that would apply to Stith because of, um, you know, he's a notable, he has a lot of different um, categories like University of Texas at Austin, University of California, Berkeley. So you can explore if you go into those categories, then you can see all other people that are also in that category. And this is what I was talking about. Uh, the DNA connections show up here on the right hand side. All right, and then the last profile was the one that we had um, added on for you all. Uh, this is a notable, another notable profile, Katie Bre Beatrice Green Hall. And so she, uh, the work was done for her and we got, got her connected to the tree and learned a lot more about her. And she's the one that uh, is best known for sponsoring legislation and leading the efforts in the US House in 1983 to make Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday a national holiday, which is of course coming up not too much, is it two months from now? So. That's another great profile. Okay, so uh, next I'll take you all into the slideshow that has been prepared so you can see the results. So the closest connection between the ancestors, the seven ancestors, is between Jacob Pickens and William Stouffer. They are 13 degrees away from each other. So that's kind of interesting information. <laughs> I always love to see where those connections start showing up. So with this, um, with the, the connection finder, all you have to do on an ancestor profile is just click on um, the profile ID up in the menu bar, and I'll show that in a minute. And you can say my the connection to me, and it'll tell you whichever profile there is, as long as they're connected to the global tree, you can check your connection to anybody. And so that's what this is doing here. So 15 degrees times two, this is the next uh, closest connections is between Stith, Tom, Thompson, and James Hughes. They're 15 degrees and Stith Thompson with David Armstrong. <laughs> okay, so James Hughes, this is um, the starting, uh, what we started out with for his profile, uh, 324 connections, and, oh, let's see, go back, sorry about that. Um, looks like, did we start with, let me just double check something because it's, I think it's missing a page. Okay. I'll double check to see if we started with the 323 or 324, or if we were started with zero, I just want to double check that because there's not the first slide saying what that was. I'll get back to that. So um, one of the tree apps that you could use on a profile, ancestor profile, is to um, take all the profiles within that CC7, and you can see, so the, all of the profiles that are connected to him within seven degrees, this is a snapshot of their migration patterns. So the Blue dot is birth and the uh, dyed place is in the blue or red. 
Um, so this kind of gives you an idea of where all the different locations were that we went to with this, with just this ancestor. This all over Italy, uh, looks like Ireland, England, Mexico, <laughs> just all over. We find that so often with all these different challenges that we started one place and we inevitably end up all over the place. So it's really wonderful opportunity to learn um, research techniques for different countries when we do one of these challenges. So here's a little bit closer um, snapshot of the United States where all the Q's CC7 profiles go within the US. <laughs> and one of the interesting finds that we wanted to share from the Hughes line was the tragedy in, Hughes, in Tucson. So James Hughes' great-granddaughter, Flora, was married to Jimmy Anderson. And in 1929, when Jimmy's sister, Jewel, was killed uh, by an accidental gunshot wound, she was only 14 years old. So that's one of the one of the interesting finds that was found during the week. Um, part of the announcement for the school graduation reads, one of the one member of the graduating class, Jewel Anderson, will be missing. This is the girl who just 10 days ago was accidentally killed in a shooting accident at her home. Her vacant chair will be on the platform and her diploma will be accepted posthumously to her brother. And that's the newspaper article about it there. So Dunbar School is where um, that's talking about. Jacob Pickens is next up on our list of ancestors that we're gonna work through. And so we get 793 connections and that grew to 1359. So that's the work that was done during the seven days by the volunteers. I love looking at the before and after. <laughs> 793 to a little less than double. So that's great. And here's uh, the maps for his CC7. Again, all over the place. Uh, looks like uh, Panama and over into Eastern Europe. So really, really love to see all the different places we go in these challenges. The close up for the United States or North America, I should say. And then into Europe. Looks like we got Switzerland, Germany. <laughs> And the interesting find for this line, the Pickens line, is uh, Jacob James Pickens' son, Joseph, married Nora Abraham. Her brother, Enoch, had a son, Clyde Rush Abraham, who spent his whole life in military service. He was appointed to West Point Military Academy in 1902 and gradu graduated as a second lieutenant in 1906. During the Great War, Clyde served in the 81st Infantry Division in France. And in 1933, he graduated from the Army College. So by 1935, Clyde was promoted to Colonel and in 1940 to Brigadier General. He retired in 1943 and is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. So, and there's a note that he served in Cuba, Hawaii, Panama, and Puerto Rico, as well as all over the continental US. Just really interesting. William Stouffer is the next profile. And this is where we started with him, six connections. And we grew him up 
to 3,856 connections within seven degrees. <laughs> so that's all, that was a lot of work that was done on this profile. Lots of connections were made. Um, of course, uh, this, this makes it, you know, so that um, it's really nice because people can then come to Wikitree and maybe find their ancestors because we've now added all of these people. So there's, they might find their ancestor here and connect to the, the tree right away. So really a lot of work, but a lot of fun. And here is the uh, migration map for the profiles connected to Stouffer. Again, uh, looks like Upper Canada we got and Caribbean, and looks like we have some down in Indonesia. So way all over the place. Poland. <laughs> and here's the close-up view for uh, the US. It's I find it really interesting how the different ancestors that we started with have definite groupings of their connections in different parts of the country. And then they, they followed a certain pattern. So it's just really interesting. Okay, David Armstrong is next up. And again, we started with six connections for him. Oh, I went right past, past it. And we got 1392 connections added for him. And look at that, <laughs> all over the Americas are pretty much almost covered up <laughs> with that migration map. And again, this all over into Japan even, uh, just really some great information here. And here's the close up of this one. Down to Jamaica, looks like. And it went, if you go into the tree apps and go into the WikiTree maps, um, there is so much information available to really delve into with all of these profiles. Um, definitely recommend checking that out. You can dial things in, you can zoom into the map and get some detail. Uh, so it's definitely a lot of fun to check those out. Because the, these are static views. Uh, just for the slideshow, definitely, definitely recommend them. Okay, then the interesting find on this line, inmate marriage mishap. So this is about Rosa Lavina Tuttle, and you'll see on the side there we have the uh, newspaper article, Sensation at Ravenna. Prominent woman marries a young man to reform him. <laughs> so David's daughter, Nancy, married Orville Tuttle, and he had a sister, Rosa, who was quite something. Rosa married for the first time at the age of 48 or 50. Her birth date is listed differently on almost every source that we found for her. So I'm not quite sure which, what, it, what the age was, but right around there. So according to the newspaper article announcing the marriage, she was quite well off and had never been married before. The man she married was quite a bit younger and is someone that she met while leading prayer meetings in the prison for inmates. He had quite a criminal past in the area. The odd fact is that she died less than four months after the marriage. So it's kind of interesting what happened there. We don't have, but uh, definitely maybe somebody can delve into it even further. With only one week, uh, sometimes we find something and we run out of time to uh, delve into it even further. So maybe that will trigger somebody to really take it even further and try to find out more about that. Jesse Nickerson is our next one. We started with 91 connections for this profile. And we grew it to 4,036 connections <laughs> within seven degrees. That's the thing is that this is within seven degrees of this person. So that's a lot of people. 
All right, and here is the snapshot of the migration pattern for this person. And here's the US zoomed in for you there. Actually, North America is what I should be saying. Because we have Canada and Mexico there. And here's Europe zoomed in for you there. Dinstein, Luxembourg. Switzerland, <laughs> okay, Katie Hall is the next ancestor and we started with zero for her and we grew her to 223 profiles. And here are the migration, here's the migration map for her all those uh, 203 profiles. This is the, where they lived and died. And Stith Thompson is the last one here. And we started with five connections for him and we grew him, he's the biggest one <laughs> at 4,741. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> the chart had to be really zoomed out. <laughs> so if you go into his profile and look at the CC7 um, views, you can, um, or not CC7, but when you look at the, I'll, I'll go in and show you what that looks like, but you can uh, change the um, you can zoom in and out so you can read the text at the top there so you can see, see the detail better. And here's the migration pattern for him. And his, the profile's within seven degrees. Again, just all over the place. And of course that happens, it's, it happens more and more, the more profiles you have connected closer, so. Here's the US, or zoomed in. And then Europe. And the um, interesting find that was found, it's a tragedy that was, that happened. This college lad was killed when he was hit by a discus. It was kind of a freak, freak accident that happened um, during uh, track and field practice. He just got hit by a discus and died of skull fracture. So that was really sad. Uh, he just was a freshman just starting out. So Julian Arend Shorts. All right, so that's the slideshow for what we, some interesting finds that we found and to give you an idea of what the work that was done. Um, and I just wanna go in here to the tree apps and show you the um, view so you can see what that looks like real quick. So I think it's the sorry about that. I just realized I was in the wrong place. Here we go. It's the six degree. The it's called six degrees, but it actually is uh within seven. Let me pull up four. Stith Thompson here. Just gonna grab his profile ID and pop it up over into here. Oops. There we go. 
So um, you can put in any ID in there and you can then it it's gonna work behind the scenes to load up that. But I was just gonna show you, you can change how this looks. There's a lot you can do with this um, and even print things off. So that's what I was th saying. Um, definitely, if you're interested in Wikitree and wanna learn more, um, there's a lot to it. One of the things I definitely recommend if you are interested in coming, um, building out your tree on Wikitree is to join a project. That's one of the best pieces of advice that we give to new members is find a project that you're, that you have an interest in, um, maybe a country project or a functional project or, um, a topical project like Quakers is one. So, um, definitely recommend checking that out. You can go to um, up at the top here into the find menu, and then you can just go find projects. And you can see all the projects that are available on Wikitree. So just a really great way to get to meet people that are in the project. They're interested in something you're also interested in. And so you can kind of learn from them and tips and tricks from them. So it's a really good way to get started. Um, so back on the uh, space page, again, uh, just want to point out that there are a lot more interesting finds on here uh, to read about that were submitted by the all the different uh, wiki treaters that took part in the, the challenge. So recommend checking those out. All right, so that's all I have. Does anybody have any questions or want to see anything specific I can share? Um, I actually have one. The DNA, okay. DNA connections, do you have to upload your DNA results? Or how does it's, that work? Yeah, so um, the DNA, it's not the actual raw data that gets uploaded. It's just that you took a test where you took it and if there's like um, your user ID or GEDmatch, it would be the GEDmatch um, ID for your test that you um, that you get when you upload to GEDmatch. So that's all, that's all it is. And then after you've entered your DNA information, then within 24 hours, it populates out to uh, your ancestor um, and other profile, descendant ancestors and like cousins, <laughs> all to any profile that would have, um, a, a, you know, you could do a confirmation with, a DNA confirmation with, it would be showing on there. So on that profile. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of DNA tools available on Wikitree. Um, Mags did a wonderful presentation, both this year and last year about DNA and Wikitree, so on, that's on out on our channel if anybody's interested in that. Okay. And I will post, so everyone knows, I will post the link to their UK, YouTube channel and also there on Facebook, Mastodon, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok where you can always ask questions. Um, I do have, there's a question that was just posted. How did you get their profile page to display on the right side? Was that oh. one of the apps? How did I get the, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last okay. part of that. Um, how did you get the profile page to display on the right side? Was that on one of the apps? Oh, yes. Uh, the, the family relationships to show on the side here. Right. Um, sorry, I should have changed this back. We have what's called uh, an extension, a browser extension. Uh, that was done last October and was improved this October during Hacktoberfest. Um, it was a collaborative effort between um, different Wikitree members that developed this Wikitree browser extension is what it's called. So um, it's available on, uh, I think all of the browsers out there. I'm on Google Chrome, so it's in the Chrome web store uh, for uh, Chrome extensions and it this browser extension 
Um, I don't know if you can see, but I have a little um, pinned uh, icon for the browser extension here. And it has a lot of options to allow me to change how um, I interact with Wikitree and how things show up for me on Wikitree. Um, so that's kind of what I was talking about before um, and different ones of you have mentioned. There is a lot to Wikitree. It's very uh, feature rich, I would say. Uh, there's a lot to it. Um, so that's why I was mentioning definitely um, join a project, work with different um, members that have been around for a while. They can really walk you through and share what their tips and tricks are for getting it around Wikitree. Um, but now, yes, where do you find out where, where are all these projects? Where can you find them? Yeah, so if you go up to the menu, um, just right here at the top, there's these options. There's a find button up here. And if you go find and then projects, it'll take you to the help page for all our projects. And there are topical projects um, and geo for geographical, pretty much um, we are actually at the beginning of the year going to be having, uh, trying, we're working towards having a project for every country out there. So, um, there are already quite a few countries on here. Um, and then we have themed projects, as you can see, military and war, med medieval project, Mayflower. We have a project for one name studies and one place studies. So there's quite a few things to, to pick from. Whatever um, interests you is a great place to get started. We have uh, functional projects like cemeterists. If you're uh, someone who likes to um, go out and take pictures of headstones and share those out on find a grave or billion graves, the, there's a cemeterist project on Wikitree for um, doing that. We encourage people to upload their photos, and create the profiles for those ancestors on Wikitree. And there's a DNA project. <laughs> So there, like I was saying, there's lots, lots to, to pick from. Do you have any questions, Kay or Gail? I think we lost Rhonda. Oh, Gail, I, I think you're on mute. Oh yeah, Gail. <laughs> Yes, I was. <laughs> I, I can't wait to get in there and look at more, more things. I've added a bunch of profiles, including Jacob Pickens, and then I can't wait to go look at everything that was added to his. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I had Jas uh, Jesse Jasper Kill or Nico send. So oh, I yeah. To dive into that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just looking forward to jumping in just like you said it's feature rich mm -hmm. I can see being lost there for a few <laughs> weeks months it definitely yeah <laughs> it's an addiction <laughs> I like the DNA um that was the thing that caught my eye when I first started using wikitree uh-huh was being able to find an ancestor and then other descendants had posted their DNA. Um, yeah. Their IDs or so you could go match, you know, to shed match or, you know, to see. To see who you, yeah, uh, yeah who might have matches. To learn more. Yeah. Yeah. And everything is yeah, there source, are, uh, I've noticed, at least what's that? source, and then, the, then then in the research notes, is that where it tells you the sources? Yeah. Yeah, the sources are um, 
for the most part, I think they're inline citations. So there's um, a, a link at the end of the statement and then it takes you to takes you to where the source is down at the bottom. Now, can anybody add a source? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the only profiles, um, so on the privacy tab, I'll just take you guys in there real quick. Um, these profiles are all open, um, which means that anyone can view the full profile and any member who has signed the honor code can edit it. So any profile that has this green lock, which would be um, closer in time, maybe um, more recent ancestors, uh, maybe somebody's grandfather or father could have um, these other privacy settings. So public would be only the people who are on the trusted list can edit the profile, but everything's still view viewable. And then private with public biography and family tree. Uh, just like it says, nobody can edit it, but who's on the profile uh, on the trusted list. Um, and then the public biography and family tree is available for viewing. So it just dials, you can see it just kind of gets um, more and more private as you go up to black, which means it's unlisted. And so those would be, um, you know, somebody who, maybe your spouse, you want to create a profile for them and that's okay with them that you've created that profile. Um, so, but they also don't want their information viewable. That way you have a profile for them, but it's kept private and then you can add their ancestors. So then they can go in and see their ancestors. So it really is great how you can really dial down the privacy for the, all the different ancestor profiles specific to that ancestor or family member for whatever's needed. And do you have to create an account to get on to look at the stuff on Wiki Tree? Um, no, you, I think if, like if I log out, um, mm -hmm. you can still view things. You just can't interact. Oh. Um, and then you can be a guest and interact a little bit, send messages and things, but, um, if you want to do more, you just upgrade to family member. That gives you a little bit more um, ability to do things. And of course, upgrading is free because everything at Wikitree is free. So, and then the top level membership uh, is Wiki Genealogist, uh, which just means you've signed that honor code, that nine point honor code that we have. You know, we collaborate is the, the top one there care about accuracy. We assume that mistakes are un un unintentional. We know misunderstandings are inevitable. We try to be courteous to everyone, respecting the privacy, respecting copyrights, giving credit, citing sources, and keeping information as free and open as possible. As you can see, all the people signed, <laughs> signed it, so it's kind of nice there. Do you have something for somebody who's new for Wikitree on how to use it and what to, or to yeah. find? Yeah, um, we actually have um, monthly, there is um, a Zoom um, meeting that goes on with Betsy Co. She hosts a new member cute question and answer sessions on uh, the first Thursday and Sunday of every month. So there's one coming up this Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, Eastern time. And then on Sunday at 11 um, a.m. Eastern, she'll be doing another one. So it's a chance for new members to come on and um, ask some questions and get some pointers. And that's on a monthly basis. And that's um, out on our G2G. So I'm just gonna bring up her. So this is our um, forum, or we call it G2G, and that's just short for genealogist to genealogist forum 
where we uh, can interact with other members, ask questions and get help with things. Um, that was one of the first things I did was ask for help with a transcription of a headstone from Japanese. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had no idea what it said. So, and within, I, I don't even know, I think it was within 15, 20 minutes, I had a response from somebody uh, that knew Japanese and they were able to translate it for me and get me, get me going on creating a profile for that person. So that was, that really impressed me when I first came to Wikitree. So yeah, this is the monthly new member Zoom Q&A that she does. So uh, that's out on, uh, on the G2G. And the, the G2G can be found by going to the help menu at the top right-hand corner, upper right-hand corner, and it's just under forum. Another great place to find out some information is the help, which is the next item on the list on the help menu. Um, there are some really great articles that were written up by members on how to use Wikitree. And there's even new member tutorials that walk you through all the different steps of how, how to get started on Wikitree. A great place to start out. And when anybody first joins Wikitree, I'm sure if it, those of you who have, uh, are members on Wikitree have, um, have experienced, we have a, a project greeters that, you know, these are volunteer members that greet new people who come on to Wikitree. So that's what they'll- well, There's a lot here. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot. <laughs> so that's one of the things that they give to new members is this the new member tutorials on how to get started on Wikitree. Because there is a lot and it helps you get kind of get started. I don't see any other questions. Unless any of you ladies have other questions. Um, we're excited to go check out everything you've learned. <laughs> right. I can talk about Wikitree all day long. So <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go check out our ancestors what you discovered after this and beyond to like two in the morning. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Well, this was absolutely fun. We Wonderful. learned a lot and we have a lot more to learn. Um, especially and feel free to reach out to me. Um, my Wikitree ID is Robinson-27225. So you just put that into the search and it'll bring up my profile and you can send me a private message or ask me any questions. Or actually I have, I have a Wikitree email now. So it's azure at wikitree.com. <laughs> We spell Azure. A Z U R E. Okay. Yeah, like the color blue. Oh, yeah. Azure blue. Yeah. It's from the show Kojak. Well, that's oh. where my mom got the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if anyone has questions, this is going to be published um, on Facebook after we're done here. And then it'll be on our YouTube channel, which will let you guys know as soon as it's available on there. Um, I know I'm going to have to go back and watch it again. Um, Me too. But, <laughs> yeah. So we can get down that information. But um, if anyone has any questions, go ahead and post below, even if we're not live and we can always get back to you later, or you can email, however. Um, let's see, Kay, do you have anything to add? Um, I don't think so. Um, our next Facebook Live is January 9th, is that it? I think so, yeah. Because the second, January 2nd was too close, so yeah, the 9th. Mm -hmm. And Kay is going to be special guest that day. But um, we hope everyone has a great holiday. And um, thank you again for all of this, everything you guys have uncovered. We're excited to explore it. And um, 
those of you on watching on Facebook or watch it after, we hope you guys will explore Wikitree. And like I said, they're all over social media. So be sure to go follow them because they have tons of tips and videos they share constantly. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys all have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.